Hi, I'm Ken Shirley. I'm back with another video. This one focuses on the Rick, and I'm going to show you some variations for the Arab rhythm Ayub. When I first learned this rhythm, I learned it on the Darbuka, and check this out. I haven't featured this yet on my channel. I just found it actually in a storage locker. I'd forgotten that I had it. This is a Turkish copper, shiny, hand hammered copper Darbuka. I learned the Ayub as having the basic Ika, the basic shape, dum, kadum, tek, dum, kadum, tek. But for the Rick, I have a few variations which alter that basic Ika a little bit. Let's go to the Rick. This is my custom Cooperman Rick. I had Cooperman make a slightly narrower depth shell and had, it, had them stain it in this nice walnut finish. So the variation, rather than playing dum, kadum, tak, dum, kadum, tak, dum, kadum, tak, with the variations I have in mind, try it like this dum, pa, dum, pa, dum, pa, dum, pa. So you end up playing the basic ika all with the same hand. And it depends on how much uh, jingly sound you want. If you keep the drum vertical, you get more jingle. Each time you play pa, it accentuates that jingle sound. If you want a little less jingle, just tilt it slightly away from you. Because this is a dance rhythm, I like maximum jingle. So that is what the dominant hand, in my case, it's the right hand, that's what the right hand is doing. Doom, pa, doom, pa, doom, pa, doom, pa. It's a two beat rhythm, but each beat is divided up into four pulses. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three. Now, all the gaps that are in between the dums and pas, they get filled in here with the supporting hand, which for me is my left hand, and you play ka on the jingle. Keep your ring finger extended and relaxed. And this ayub variation, the first one, I've, I've got three different versions, but the first one sounds like this. So you're filling in all of the all the empty spaces in the basic pattern with cas. Dum ka ka pa dum ka pa ka dum ka ka pa dum ka pa ka. And the second half of the rhythm is a bit easier. It's just back and forth. Dum ka pa ka. So that's the second beat. One two three four. 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 Dum ka pa ka. One two three four. The first beat you have two kas in a row. Dum ka ka pa. Dum ka ka pa. Just keep this ring finger relaxed. Okay. When you combine those two beats, dum ka ka pa. Dum ka pa ka. One and two. At this speed, it doesn't sound like an ayub, okay? But we can learn it here. And it's almost twice as fast to play it up to sort of a typical tempo for the ayub. So let's try that now. If this is still too fast for you, remember you can always slow these YouTube videos down a little bit until you get it into your hands and then you can speed it up again, okay? But it sounds like this. One, two, one, two. Okay, here are two variations on that pattern that we just played. One is you add two dooms right off the top. So it replaces one of those cuss. Doom, doom, ba, doom, ba. Okay, so your dominant hand is doing this. Doom, doom, ba, doom, 
pa, pa, pa. And then you fill in with your supporting hand. And when you play it up to speed, it sounds pretty cool. Personally, I would use this as just a spice every once in a while. The basic ayub. I would play that more often. And then throw the other one in just as a, a little spice. Right there, I was doing every fourth time, I would add the dum dum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the other variation is to delay the dum and put it on the second pulse. So you actually start on the first beat with the ka. So the first beat is ka dum ka pa. Ka dum pa dum pa. A little slower. Ka dum ka pa. Okay, that's the first beat. Second beat's the same. Dum ka pa ka. One and two and one and two and one and two. And one and two and ka dum pa dum pa ka dum pa dum pa. And again, I would use this one just as a spice every once in a while. It's important if you're drumming, especially with a dancer. The dancer really needs to hear a clear ika, that that basic shape. Uh, if you start getting too abstract it will make the dancer less happy. So you've got to keep it clear. And then once in a while, it's a really nice change. It's a really nice spice. Let's try a four cycle pattern. We'll do the basic one three times and then we'll throw that variation in the fourth time, okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video on the Rick. Please come back and join me again for more videos about rhythm, drumming, and percussion. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you can do that. Click the little bell so you find out when I upload new videos. You can also join the channel for $5 Canadian a month and support the work I do. At any rate, I hope you'll come back and join me for more videos.